Hello, this is your daily devotion for Monday, July 20th, and our reading this morning is Psalm 52. Why do you boast of evil, you mighty man? Why do you boast all day long, you who are a disgrace in the eyes of God? Your tongue plots destruction. It is like a sharpened razor, you who practice deceit. You love evil rather than good, falsehood rather than speaking the truth. You love every harmful word, O you deceitful tongue. Surely God will bring you down to everlasting ruin. He will snatch you up and tear you from your tent. He will uproot you from the land of the living. The righteous will see and fear. They will laugh at him, saying, Here now is a man who did not make God his stronghold, but trusted in his great wealth and grew strong by destroying others. But I am like an olive tree flourishing in the house of God. I trust in God's unfailing love forever and ever. I will praise you forever for what you have done. In your name I will hope, for your name is good. I will praise you in the presence of your saints. So I don't know if you've noticed, but there sure does seem to be a rise in this world of people who just love making trouble for others, who love to stir the pot, love to insult people, love to say things just to try to get a reaction. This psalm is a slap down to every single one of those people, basically saying that making trouble, speaking harshly, um, delighting in the thought that maybe, just maybe, if you play your cards right, you'll get to ruin someone's day, is counterproductive, a waste of time, and literally ungodly. I encourage everyone, including myself, to take a good hard look at what we find admirable or funny or smart or pointed and ask whether we are unknowingly contributing to a culture that simply loves to destroy other people rather than treat them kindly or with respect. This is not to say that there are certain actions that are not worthy of criticism. That's not the point at all. The point is, there are so many people in this world who simply delight in making trouble, who say things outrageous and love to see the reaction that follows. And as Christians, we need to keep ourselves away from such people and the things they write or record or produce or share, because they're of no value to us, none whatsoever. So keep it positive. That doesn't mean, again, that there aren't certain things that certainly deserve to be criticized. But on the whole, keep it positive. That's a more godly way to live. Today, in addition to praying for the victims of COVID-19 and their families, let's also pray for um, all those who struggle um, to fill their time. Because there are so many people who have been made idle by unemployment or were already idle uh, due to retirement or whatever. And they've had so many things that they might enjoy doing kind of taken away from them by the restrictions we live with under COVID. And I think a lot of people have turned to some less than wholesome things, some less than beneficial things. Like, for instance, the stuff I was talking about earlier just to fill their time and to make it go by. I don't know. We've got baseball back now. Maybe that's going to help a little bit, but let's pray for them anyway. Let us pray. God, keep us from being offensive on purpose. Keep us from speaking foolishly or harshly. Speak us from taking pleasure in the pain of others. Help us instead to do what is right to build up rather than to tear down and help us to speak praise of you in all times and circumstances. We pray today for the victims of COVID-19 and their families. We pray for our healthcare workers and first responders. And we pray for all those who over the last three months have had maybe a little too much time on their hands and haven't always known how to fill it and haven't always filled it with things that build up rather than tear down. In your name we pray. Amen. All right. Thank you, everybody. We'll see you again soon.